Hi, this is Richard Quack here. Welcome to another session of my video. In today's session, I would like to talk about marketing. And the topic is how to effectively use Facebook Messenger. I'm sure if you have been on Facebook before, you are aware of how to use the Facebook Messenger. Okay, but today I want to outline some of the advice that I can give you. Okay, okay, number one, what is Facebook Messenger? Actually, it is a feature provided by Facebook for free, which allow you to communicate on real time with the people that you know on Facebook. Okay, so it is a, a what's called it is a communication platform which is a feature provided by Facebook for free. Okay? Now, what I would advise you to do is also, rather than just using it on your computer or on the browser, all right, why not download the application, Facebook Messenger application to your handphone, all right? Download it to your handphone so that you can text people, you can message people, you can chat with people, using your handphone especially when you are not in the house all right so it is also useful to have the facebook messenger application installed on your handphone okay whether it's a smartphone or whether it's a, a, a apple phone or whatever it is all right so basically install it on your phone okay now what can you text what can you text well as usual you know if you are using whatsapp you are using telegram and so on it's about the same thing you can text messages all right in text all right you can text photo you can also send video as well all right so these are the similar things that you can use messenger for all right now here are some guidelines that i want to uh, tell you which i think is very important because a lot of people do not know how to use it properly okay here are some guidelines number one like i mentioned last night on my facebook live okay do not push for sales or recruitment with messenger okay don't push for sales or even recruitment on messenger all right what you need to do is find out more about your friend your prospect on facebook and only when they ask you okay then only then you provide them with the information and take them away from facebook okay to your blog to the web pages over zoom and so on okay now the second thing that you need to do on uh, uh, facebook messenger is you got to be polite all right, you cannot be rude. So talk politely because it's you need to be professional with your conversation. That's for sure. All right. So basically, be polite. All right. Number three, I think this is very very important. All right. It's not only apply to Facebook Messenger but also to your post as well. Okay. Do not do this. All right. Do not post or communicate regarding politics. Okay. Regarding race. And regarding religion because these are sensitive issue right these are sensitive issue because not everybody have your same mindset have your own opinion they have their own opinion right so never never get involved with this thing all right because when you get involved with this then you may create a lot of uh, uh, enemies and people who do not like you and so on so never never uh, use messenger or even do your post on Facebook regarding these three things all right what are the three things again politics race and religion okay these are the three things then the other thing is that i think this is very important a lot of people get carried away all right when you use facebook messenger do not be too personal do not be too personal because you are on messenger to talk to people to find out about people all right so that you can sell them or you can recruit them so don't get too personal i know a lot of people get too personal sometimes they talk about you know family they talk about the wife the children and then even you know they, they they talk about love as well it's ridiculous you know that is why a lot of people on facebook you know they they they, they talk nonsense all right and at the end of the day they get into trouble they get into scam all right i know of of people who get scammed over facebook because you know they they talk about personal things and so at the end of the day they get emotional and then they get scammed all right so Remember that don't get too personal. Be professional, all right? Talk about things that are relating to uh, the current economic situation and also business, okay? Now, in Facebook, how many friends can you have? 
5,000, right? In Facebook, Facebook allows you to have 5,000 friends. But the thing is that it is not the number of friends that is important, all right? You can have 5,000 friends, but it's of no use. What is important is what? I mentioned earlier in my uh, earlier uh, video, it is all about engagement. You need people who are engaged with you. That means you yourself got to be engaged as well. That means you, you uh, communicate with people, all right? You like people's posts, you comment, you share, and so on. So it's all about engagement. Remember, it's all about engagement. It's not about 5,000. You can have 5,000 friends, so what? All right, it's no point having 5,000 friends and, and if they don't engage with you, don't communicate with you. So my suggestion to you is this. All right, it's not the the number of friends that you have. So what you should do is regularly go to a Facebook friend and unfriend most of them who do not engage with you. All right, so you should do that. It's not, oh, I've got 5,000 friends, maximum, I'm so happy. No, no, no. You've got to get rid of all those who are not engaged with you, okay? For example, if they, you message them, they don't even bother to respond. Why should you keep that as a friend? All right, it's about engagement. So unfriend these people. There are many of them, or some of them, some of them are rude and so on, of course, right? But then you know, you you, you got to pick and select. You know, out of two over billion members, you can have five thousand. So you got so many uh, friends that you can uh, connect with. Okay. Now, uh, how do you search for friend? Okay, of course to message them. You know, you need to have friends. All right, so you can search for friends using the Facebook graph search. If you see on, on your first Facebook page, on the top uh, left-hand corner, you can see a bar there, right? That is the search bar, whereby you can make searches using the graph search. All right, you can search for your niche. All right, that means uh, who are the people that you want to connect with, people who are in your niche, all right? Let's say you are in uh, network marketing, so you want to uh, uh, connect with people who are also in network marketing, or if you are in personal development, you want to connect with people with the same similar interest, all right? If they are in uh, dogs, then you, you want to connect with people who are in the dog niche, people who love dogs, all right? So basically, you want to connect with the right people, all right? It's the targeted people, not everybody, okay? Then the other thing is that, another good, good idea is that, rather than using the graph search, you can go to groups. There are many groups in Facebook, all right? You can go and join the groups. There are groups on, again, you know, money making, business opportunity. There are groups on uh, personal development or what. So you go there and join the group and then you observe the people in the group who are active, all right? That means they are posting and they are asking questions and so on. So you can friend these people, send them a friend request, all right? So that's one way to do it, all right? Rather than just uh, uh, searching for for the people who are in this niche, you know, you can go to groups because there are a lot of people in the groups and then when you look at the activity, whether they're active or not, then you can uh, friend them, okay? Now, how do you, uh, how do you uh, send a friend request? I think uh, everybody know, but I'm going to repeat it here, all right? What you need to do is that, you know, if you go to the page, all right, look at the page first, what I will look for is whether they're professional or not. Do they have a nice cover photo? Do they have a nice profile picture? Do they post regularly? All right, if they don't, then forget about it. All right, we cannot be asking everybody to be friend, right? You want to pick and choose who your friends are going to be like. So what you can do is that click friend request, send, and then it will be professional also to send them a message, all right? Send them a text message through Messenger all right? and telling them, you know, uh, their page came out, you saw their page and you like what you see on the page and then you would love to be friend with them. That's it. Send a simple short message to them. At least, you know, uh, uh, courtesy uh, uh, on your part to send them rather than just clicking a friend request, send a message. All right. Okay. Now let's move on. Now, in even in accepting friend requests, okay, I regularly have friend requests every day. I got people requesting to be my friend. I won't Click yes, 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 accept, accept, accept. No, I will go to their page and have a look first. I'll click and look at the page. Number one, I see whether they're active or not. Okay, whether they're active or not. That means on the on the profile page or on the uh yeah, on the profile page, whether they have a lot of posts or not. Okay, they have a, whether they have a lot of engagement or not. That's the first thing I look. Number two, I look whether the their profile page looks professional or not, whether they have a a cover photo, whether they have a professional profile photo, uh, do they have an about me page, and so on. So I go have a look at all these things, all right? And if they don't have 
those, then I will not accept their friend request. Another suggestion I will give, you know, especially to men, all right. If you get a friend request, most of the time I get a friend request uh, from somebody who's unknown and then they show a beautiful picture of a lady. Well, what do you think? Okay, I will look at the profile page and so on. Most of these are scammers, you know. So I will reject them. No point. All right, no point. Like I said, don't get personal, right? So basically, you know, I will reject them. Okay? So that is uh, how you will build your base of friends. All right, in Facebook. Now, do you know that? A lot of people do not know about this, you know. Your friend, you can categorize them as well. All right? You see, when you send a post, all right? When you do a post, the post will go to all your friends, right or not? All right, now, what you can do on Facebook is that you can categorize your friends. You can make a list, you know. Okay, maybe i give you an example. Maybe one list is uh, family members. Then another list could be close friends. Another list could be uh, marketers. Another list could be your customer. Why do you make all these lists? Because when you make a post, all right, to market something, you're not going to send to your family member or your close friends, right? You're going to send to the marketer group. So basically, it is good to be able to make a list of your Facebook friends, okay? Compile a list so that when you make a post, okay, you can send to the relevant list. Are you with me? So this is very important. A lot of people may not know about this, but Facebook allows you to create a list, all right? A, create a list which is very useful, especially if you are doing business, all right? Uh, you want to categorize your list because once you post, it will go to everyone. But you know, some of your posts, is not supposed to be for everyone. It's supposed to be a promotion. So it should go to marketers, uh, you know, or, or to your customers and so on. So basically, you can create a list on Facebook, okay, with your friend. Now, the other thing is that I want to explain to you a little bit about communication, all right? Well, well you accept your friend. Now you're going to message them through Messenger, all right? You're going to message them through Messenger, okay? What you can do is that these are some of the examples of scripts I can give you. There are more, but then these are the basic thing, all right? You can ask them, okay? How are you? That's the normal, normal greeting, right? How are you? And then after that, if they respond, all right, what do you do? Isn't it simple? You want to know about them, right? What do you do? And then after that, you ask them, how long have you been doing that? Then after that, you can ask them, you know, what do you do before that? Okay? And, you know, later on, you can ask them, how is the, in Malaysia, you know, the MCO affecting you? You know, the control movement is affecting you and so on. So you can ask all those questions. Or, how is the financial situation at the moment affecting you and your business? All right? The whole idea is to get message from them to know what they are uh, what position they are in okay you're not selling them anything right you're talking about all these things okay or i could ask them you know do you have any experience in network marketing yeah i'm not asking them to join my company or i'm just asking them whether they have any experience in network marketing okay so basically you know remember this okay and your conversation always with a, with a question all right, when you communicate with them, make it short and simple, but always end with a question. Like, you know, I say, how's the financial situation affecting your business at the moment? Okay, how long have you been doing your business? All right, and so on. Something like that. End with a question. Now, you see, when you're asking questions too many times, right, don't make it look like an interrogation. Like a police inter interrogating you, you know. Don't make it that way, you know, because they, they feel that you are interrogating them. All right, so make it friendly, you know. Make it flow as well, all right. Don't after one question, one question, one question, just like interrogating them, okay. And sometimes you might get a, 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 a question from them. You Don't be surprised. Eh? Why are you asking me so many questions? Okay, why are you asking me so many questions? I give you a simple uh, uh uh, what you call a response you can give them okay you can tell them i've made many great friends here on facebook and i get to know them more by asking questions all right that's it simple or not is it reasonable then ask them another question all right so basically messenger is all about asking question all right it's about asking question to know about your prospect about your friend all right it's not about pushing your product pushing your sale or trying to sell all sort of things you know i know there are a lot of people using messenger trying to sell uh, uh 
you know the MLM program sell uh, property sell insurance or whatever it is you know no no messenger is to build communication and to build trust okay only when they ask you then only then you respond to them all right and well you know you bring that out of Facebook like I said last night all right you bring that out of Facebook to your blog or whatever it is okay so that's all I want to share with you about uh, how to use Facebook Messenger more effectively. I hope that you learned something here, all right? Now, uh, let me summarize for you, all right? Basically, uh, the guideline is do not push for sale or recruitment using Messenger. Number two, all right, be polite. Everybody loves somebody who's polite, right? Don't be rude and, you know, uh, try to quarrel with people and so on. Uh, number third one, this is very important. Never get involved with politics, race or religion when you use messenger or when you do any post okay because people have different opinion okay you belong to a political party other people might be belonging to another political party you belong to another, a religion somebody else have got a different opinion so never never get involved all right in any business i would advise people never get involved with these three things okay and don't get too personal remember don't get too person personal a lot of people sometimes you know they get personal and <laughs> It's very dangerous, all right? Get away from that, okay? And don't forget there are a lot of scam outside there as well, all right? And uh, engagement is very important. Facebook is not how many friends you have, okay? If you've got 5,000 friends, so what? You shouldn't be proud about it. How many of them actually engage with you? Probably none, all right? So you want people who are engaged. Even you got 300 friends, so what? All right, it doesn't matter. Even if you've got 300 friends, but these 300 friends are those who engage with you uh, on a daily basis, okay? Uh, well, you want to uh, be able to have friends, you got to search for the friends, okay? You got to search for the friends and you can use a graph search and also you can search within groups, okay? And uh, when you send a friend request, don't forget, you know, send a friend request together with a message, all right? And also, the script is very simple, all right? I mean, just like you're communicating with people, getting to know people, all right? So, you know, how are you? What do you do? How long you've been doing that? And so on, okay? Those are some of the simple script I can give you. All right, so that's all I want to share with you. I hope you learned something here. If you like what you hear and see, please feel free to like, to comment, and to share, okay? So, uh, I will see you again tomorrow for another uh, session of my video. So this is Richard Quack from Malaysia wishing you good night and goodbye.